Hello there, this is Sam and it's a pleasure to have you in my channel once again. Today I'm back with another video and in this video I'm going to still talk about virtual DJ keyboard mapping. Now recently I really got a few comments on my videos and they were asking me to make a video on drum sets. In today's video, just like I said, I'm going to make a keyboard mapping for virtual DJ drum sets or drum pads in simple terms. Just check it out. Alright guys, so welcome. I'm going to show you a quick thing here. I always prefer doing this on my keyboard. I don't have a turntable, but that's okay. Now, you're going to need to go to your sampler section where you're going to do, where you're going to put these drums, okay? Uh, I have the link in the description here if you don't have the drums in case you want to download them. Now, let's go and then create a new bank. Right click there and then select new. This is where, going to, we, are, this is where we are going to put our new drums, okay? Now, I have these drums downloaded and I can choose to go to the section. In fact, let me go to my file explorer, to the folder where I have them. Now, I have them here under drum. I mean, in the desktop, I have them in my drum. Is it virtual DJ drum pads? Let me pick. All right, it says VDJ drum pads here. Yeah. Here are the drums. I still say, check in the description here, I have them. All right, so I just copy, I mean, drag all of them, paste them there. And I have them here, okay? You can listen to them a little bit. I have kicks, snares, and all that, and all that. Okay. All right. What is this? Let's leave alone that, okay? Let's leave alone that for now. Uh -huh. You can listen to them. Those are the few that I have, okay? You can choose to put as many as. So let's edit them. Let me rearrange them first. I want the kick to be in the first place, followed by the snares, the cheat heart, and all that, and all that. Open heart, rather. All right. You can also choose, you can also choose to edit this the way you want. Uh, in most cases, this can be lower than the, vo the music, the volume of the music that you're playing. So you might want them to sound a little bit louder. When I'm done rearranging this, I'm going to right click on the one that I want to make louder. Though I go to sampler editor, I can choose to crop or trim it just like that. And if it sounds lower, I can also raise up the gain a little bit, okay? And then after that, I save, just like that. So you can choose to do that. Let's do it to this also. Sampler editor. Raise the gain a little bit to make it louder. Save it and let go. You can choose to do uh, for all these, okay? You can also do it for this one. Raise the gain. Ah, okay? You can also play and listen to it a little bit, but save it and go. All right, so that is it. Now, I might not want all of this for now. Let's go to our setting, the configurations, and then choose to go to mapping. I'm going to show you, you need to do a keyboard mapping for all this. Remember, you're going to play using your keyboard. So go to mappings. Under the key, type the letters you want to use. Now, I want to use these keys. Okay. All right. Do that mapping. And in the, in the action, in the action center down here, type sampler underscore play underscore starter space and then the number of the sampler you want to play that is the first sampler i'm using those keys there to make them look like a drum pad in, in real life uh-huh the next one control v is sampler underscore play underscore starter space and then the number of the sampler you want to play okay let's type this type this correctly Sorry for that sound. All right, that is it. So you can do that to, to as many drums as you want. Let's do this again. The next one, you can just copy and paste to save time. Mm -hmm. You can also just do it for the next one too. Copy and paste. And then put the number that you want to play. So that is it. Then after that, you save, okay? You save. When you try playing, you can hear, but this, this second one is not playing. Something must be wrong. We can choose to go back there and check whether it's correct. Okay, the second one there is, all right. It's not control V, it's supposed to be number. Okay, that is sampler two. Let's paste this again. Then that, that is correct. So we can save it and then listen to it. All right, it's now playing. So that's okay, guys. Uh, you can now start playing your music from there. That's just it, okay? That is it now.
right, thanks a lot guys for watching. I hope the video really worked out for you. If you are new to my channel and it's your first time, please subscribe. And don't forget to share my videos in case you fall in love with them. Give me thumbs up and see you in the next one. <laughs> I'm nothing to tell you. He has mentioned it. Subscribe. Subscribe that man. They only do the do.